Then I'm going to show you how to put your screws onto your different style screws onto your auger filler. Now, for our original one, we have a cap without a strainer, and this is for heavier products. As they're being filled, but on the pattern, if you put the strainer on, it actually clogs it at the mouth. That's why we put it on without a strainer. As all the products are free flowing, that will require a strainer in order to prevent dripping after each fill. Okay? So it goes on as such. Now the products that are even more free flowing that just tend to drip no matter what, we have this other system over here. So basically, this will go latch on top. I'll be more detailed later on. This will slide through, having the end cap on. And the thread on this is reverse. So it'll be like this with this one on here. And then your your cap, your, your screw. First what we're gonna do is the way the reason why it comes like this is because to prevent damage to the screw or its own So I'm gonna release this clamp. Um, you always wanna do some machine off. Because if it's on, obviously for any reason it activates or somebody can step in the pedal, if it's on or whatever, it will activate the machine and it will harm it. So what we're gonna do is the easiest way is we're gonna release this clamp. This funnel is has two latches here, one on each side, and it's, it should be on here. So you wanna make sure that it's on those latches. So when you open this and it doesn't want to fall. So make sure that it's latched on as well. So that when I take this off, it does not fall. Take on this clamp. Now I'm going to twist it to the left, and it comes down. Now this spins on its own, and this that's where we'll be latching this on. So it has a place here, you can see, and this has a T on it. The screw itself. So we're going to put it in the hole, push up, and it's going to latch there. Now we're going to put our funnel back, put the clamp on. It has ridges that match here. So it slides in, it's in place, and then we can put the clamp. Whenever tightening this clamp, you always do it by hand, you never do it with a tool, always by hand. So that's ready. Now I'm going to show you how to put on the other one. Now I'm going to show you how to put on the other one. Now I started at this point. There is no need to start that over again. So same concept. Slide it in. Twist to the left. It's going to latch in. So then, so what we do is we're first going to put this piece in. Slide it in. Lock it in place. And then put the clamp on. Now we're at this point. So before we put anything else on, we have to make sure we put the cap on. Remember. The screw is opposite. Now the bolts are a normal thread, so they will screw in normally. The tiny is not that much, just snug fit. And you're ready to go.